Okay, here we go. Welcome everyone. Tuesday edition of 15 minutes of positivity. So being Tuesday, I thought we'd focus on some attention training. And the rationale for that is, you know, wherever our attention goes is really what manifests in our in our life. So another way of looking at this is how we pay attention to the present moment or in the present moment determines the character and quality of our experience and therefore the quality of our life, right? So I think one of the, the grand uh, illusions or delusions to some extent of our human experience is our ability to time travel, meaning to remember things in the past or worry about things happening in the future, creates this kind of illusion that those are actually real, that there's something that's 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 there and worthy of paying attention to. Whereas really, if you think about it, certainly on a uh, biological level, uh, the only thing we really have is, is, is the present moment. So any thoughts about the past, any thoughts about the future are literally sort of confabulations that are created in, in the brain. And um, if we choose to pay attention to those, well then, you know, that completely determines what is actually happening to us in the present moment. So attention training is um, is a way to address that or, or simply get better at being able to choose where our attention goes. And I think of this as the attention coin, if you will, having two sides to it, which we'll practice today. The first one is focus and concentration. Focus is when we choose to shine the, the spotlight of our attention on something, we are focusing on it, right? We're, it's, a, it's a tight beam and we're zeroing in on, could be an object, it could be any, any sensory object. It could also be a thought or, or a memory. Concentration is being able to hold that focus over time. So that's what it's, focus is, concent, it, or concentration is focus plus time really. Then on the other side of this coin is our ability to let go and filter what we don't want to be focusing on and concentrating on. So if you know, if you think about in any given moment throughout the day, our five senses are picking up literally millions and millions of bits of data every second. I mean, receptors in my skin, in my eyes, in my ears, uh, inside my body. This is a constant stream of data. And if I couldn't filter that out, if I couldn't filter out certain noises or the sensation of my heartbeat, whatever it might be, it would be, it would be impossible to function. So a really key part of what the brain does is it filters out uh, and allows us to actually have an experience of something, but it comes at the expense of other things. Now the challenge here is in many ways, life just dictates where our attention what, what grabs our attention wherever our attention goes for example if i say paris and the eiffel tower to you most of you in that moment involuntarily right i just foisted this idea upon you that eiffel tower most of you probably had an image of the eiffel tower in your in your mind either because you've once seen it in person or you've certainly seen pictures of it um, and that's an example of I just decided to bring up the Eiffel Tower and now, you know, you're left with the with the, the burden, if you will, or the involuntary decision, do I focus on that or not? So that's the that's the filtering part. And this happens to us all day long, right? So whether it's the weather, feeling warm, cold, the person that we're in conversation with, all kinds of things are happening to us. And so our ability to choose what we want to focus and concentrate on is key. And it also requires us to be able to let go and filter out things that we don't want to focus on. So when we can do that, it certainly makes, makes, makes our moment to moment uh, experience of, uh, of being us or interacting with the world a lot simpler. So let's go ahead and, and practice that today. So begin by closing your eyes. And let's start with open awareness. So notice any sounds that you hear, so certainly my voice, but there are probably other sounds in your periphery. Notice the sensation of breath happening at the same time as these sounds. 
Notice how even with eyes closed, you can see all the colors and shapes. Noticing how your hands or your skin is feeling or sensing contact with the chair or with your body. Maybe you can smell something. And this is all happening at the same time. It's this constant stream of inbound stimuli, again, that we don't control, they just happen. And we can, for a moment, just be open to noticing all of it happening at the same time. And usually when I, when I suggest experiencing all of it at the same time, what's really happening so on a microscopic level is that our brain is uh, sort of serial, we call it serial monotasking, mean, meaning first I focus on sounds, then I focus on eyes, then I focus on other sensations. And so we're bouncing around from one thing to the next. So really what we're doing is these micro moments of focus. So let's intentionally focus on something now. So focus on sound. And in order to focus on sounds, notice how it comes at the exclusion of sight, sensations. You're really choosing to just focus on the sound of my voice, the other sounds around you. And in order to focus and concentrate, it means that we're letting go and filtering out all the stuff that we don't want to be experiencing. Notice how it gets harder to maintain concentration when, when I'm silent, when I'm not giving direction. Again, the mind has this tendency to want to fill in that space. Like we practiced yesterday, the opportunity is just to begin again. So return your attention to sound, filtering out other experiences and just focusing and concentrating on sound. And now shifting attention to sight. So even with closed eyes, Stare into the, the space behind your eyelids and notice all of the, the colors and movement. And again, noticing how in order to focus on sight, we're filtering out sound, filtering out other sensations. While you're staring into the, the space behind your eyelids, if you notice sounds or other sensations, see if you can just let go of them. Don't let them grip you or distract you and just stay with sight. Return to sight.
and now shifting attention to your tongue. Maybe the first time today that you're consciously and intentionally focusing on the tongue. Just notice what it's like to have a tongue. And in order to focus and concentrate on the tongue, we are intentionally letting go of sound and sight as our primary focus. Now shift attention to the belly. Letting go of everything else, and just focusing, concentrating on the belly. And so what we're practicing here with, with sensory objects is absolutely transferable to other situations in our life. So think back to a, maybe a difficult conversation, a heated or tense conversation that you were having with someone and see if you can go back into that memory and notice what was happening to your focus and concentration And your ability to let go and filter out um, rather than listening to what the other person was saying, noticing the clever retorts, wanting to interject. And so this is, this is the stuff that we can learn how to filter out and let go and say, yep, I know I want to correct what they just said, or I want to slide my point into this. If I do that, it comes at the expense of me being able to focus and concentrate on what they're actually saying. That's a kind of, a kind of dance that happens. And we can absolutely get, get better at it. I'm hoping that what we practice today in terms of, you know, it's like going to the, the attention gym focusing on sounds, on sight, different parts of our body, it sets us up to be able to engage with others more effectively and more, more gracefully. And go ahead and take a deep breath in. Long exhale. And hold for five, four, three, two, one, and deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale. Again, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Just breathe normally. Open your eyes. And again, just notice where's your attention now? Where do you want your attention to be? And in order to focus your attention, what is it that you might actively need to filter out or let go of? That's the invitation of this practice. Um, quick reminder that tonight, I'm actually getting this right, tonight is Tuesday, and Brenda has her community integration group. If you've never attended, it's a great way to 
yeah, just just connect with with others and process some of your um, your experiences, ask questions, and share share what's going on for you. So easy to join citclinics.com slash integration. It's free and it starts at 6.30 tonight. So if that's interesting for you, go ahead and join. And other than that, I'm gonna stick around for a few minutes if anyone wants to chat.